Luke Grimes charmed his way into audience's heart as Casey Dutton. But can you guess who charmed Luke's mind and heart? Well, no guesses on that one. Turns out Luke found his lucky charm with Kevin Costner, who plays his on-screen father in Yellowstone. Our naturally curious minds wonder how Luke feels about being the on-screen son of an iconic legendary actor, and how has this collaborative cinematic experience been for him? Well, with a little help and a lot of work, we have found out all this and much more to understand Luke's relationship with Cosner. So get your popcorn ready as we check out the off-screen chemistry of our very favorite on-screen father-son duo. John Dutton's relationship with Casey Dutton. Yellowstone's storyline has made one thing crystal clear. Where there is family, there is drama. This show revolves around many characters and takes into account their individual backgrounds, personalities, but for us, the most entertaining part is getting to see the push and pull dynamic between John Dunn and his biological son, Casey Dunn. Things did not look well between the father and son as the show started with Casey as the prodigal son, who moves away from his family, disassociating himself from the family ranch. What pushed Casey to the edge? Well, apparently it's his father's actions. In season one, fans discovered the real reason why Casey despised his father. Trust us, you would do the same if you were in his place. During one of the episodes, it is shown that Monica, Casey's wife, confronts her father-in-law and asks him the real cause of the rift with Casey. Turns out that Casey had decided to start a family with Monica against John's wish, and as a result, John punished him by forcing Casey to take the brand. In John's words, he disobeyed me on too many times. He told me he got some girl he barely knew pregnant and he was gonna marry her. I told him to take you to the clinic and not let you leave until you had an abortion. But he wouldn't do it. John made sure Casey pays a heavy price for this disobedience and to make matters worse, he ruthlessly branded his son himself. Ouch. That hurts. Wondering why the Cowboys got branded? Well, Monica had the same question too, which John responded saying, They don't all do it. Just the ones who got a second chance, I guess. It's a way they can prove that they can be trusted. Honestly speaking, branding yourself to earn the trust of your peers doesn't sound like a big deal. But what has made this act a big deal? Well, for starters, branding for Yellowstone means you get a large, flaming hot Y-shaped iron stamped on your chest. Once you survive this painful procedure, only then do you get to prove your worth and loyalty to the ranch. Truth be told, this cruel tradition will come as a shock for us, the city dwellers, but it's quite common amongst the ranch communities. In the show, we see that other characters like Jimmy Herdstrom, Jefferson White, Rip Wheeler, Cole Hauser, Walker, Ryan Bingham, Colby, Denim Richards, Ryan, Ian Boehm, Lloyd, Forey Smith, and Teeter, Jennifer Landon, turn out to be the bearers of the Yellowstone brand. In a recent interview, Luke shared his thoughts about Casey's relationship with John, saying he has this loyalty inside him for the legacy of the Dutton family. And as you said, he and John have an interesting relationship, but he does love his father and he does want to do right by that legacy. Although this relationship came out with a bad start, still we get to see that John favors Casey over his son Jamie Dutton. The reasons for John's favoritism are quite understandable. After all, Jamie is not his biological son. Throughout the show, we see that Casey manages to earn the approval of Daddy's Dearest, whereas Jamie turns out to be the black sheep of the family. Yellowstone fans on Reddit have an interesting way to look at this complicated relationship. According to one fan, John favors Casey because he has got no other option. That doesn't sound too good. You're surprised that he picks the strongest son over the weaker one? That's totally John Dutton's character. Another user pointed out the same, explaining how John was out of the choices for a reliable successor. No, it's not how John would have liked it. Beth is clear about not wanting to run the ranch. Lee's dead, and Jamie is a weasel. So what choice does John have except Casey? Some fans believe that Casey has earned a spot in his father's good books only because of Jamie's mistakes and scheming actions. 
Not wanting to leave it with Jamie had nothing to do with him being adopted. For all we know, he hasn't intended to be adopted way back then. It had to do with John not trusting him because of Jamie's actions. All in all, we see that John's relationship with both his sons is pretty messed up. Having said that, Luke fully enjoyed this on-screen complicated relationship as it turned out to be the highlight of his career. Luke opens up about working with Cosner. Luke Grimes witnessed one of the biggest victories of his career when he managed to get casted as superstar Kevin Cosner's on-screen son on Yellowstone. Talking to Monster and Critics, Luke shared how he felt working with the famous on-screen dad. Working with someone who is that iconic and whose career is legendary is always sort of a pinch me moment. Like, is this real? Luke made full sense of this opportunity by actively transforming this collaborative effort into a learning experience, and he said, it feels like a benchmark in your own career, and you try to soak in as much knowledge as you can. Obviously, he's done everything you can do in a film career. What was Luke's biggest takeaway after working with a superstar? One thing that I really enjoy seeing in him is his passion for the work. It's still very much there. He still wants to work and is very curious and still wants to dissect the scenes and get everything out of the scene that he possibly can. You never know if someone of that stature, if they're still going to love the work they did when they first started, and he really seems to. Talking about an unexpected, interesting, hot spring scene with Cosner, Luke said, First of all, you start to think about the logistics. Obviously, it's a two-minute scene, but it takes 10 hours to film. Then I'm thinking, is it a real hot spring? Because if it's a real hot spring, I'm going to prune up really bad and probably be pretty dehydrated by the end of that day. It's mostly with something like that. It's kind of just logistical stuff, but I always really like that scene. I think it's been really cool to watch Casey and John's relationship grow over time. It's coming into something really different. I feel like I haven't seen this relationship between father and son before, where there's an exterior disagreement that they have, that they just decide to forego a lot of time to try to work together. And I just love the way they interact with each other. They can laugh at each other's jokes, but at the same time, and they can have problems with each other, and that's okay. Luke talks about his character Casey. Working with an iconic character certainly feels like a big accomplishment, but for Luke, the cherry on top turned out to be playing the unique character of Casey. As he said, I love playing him, and I love the kind of reading the script as they come in just because he always surprises me. He's got a lot going on, not a one-dimensional guy. Luke shared his candid observations about how Casey's character has evolved and grown during the years, saying, he tends to handle things a little better as he matures within the show, and he becomes a better father and husband and a sort of functioning member of society, with being a livestock commissioner and all that stuff. And we're really watching him kind of heal and mature, but it seems like even though that, he hasn't gotten one step closer to any sort of solution or any sort of path to happiness. What does the future have in store for Casey? Well, Luke had an interesting prediction which he generously shared, saying, Casey obviously was living on the reservation when we first met him. So there's this sort of Romeo and Juliet thing there, kind of star-crossed lovers. His dad and the tribes are at war, and there he is living on the wrong side of everything. That's a metaphorical beginning to something that never stops with him. It's always trying to choose between what's right and the loyalty to family, and the two don't always mix. Ultimately, we're going to have to see Casey make a real decision at one point. He's going to have to pick a path. By the end of season four, we start to see that become apparent. Luke's career experienced a major change as soon as he became Casey Dutton that we all know of today. Explaining how big the fame game is getting for him, Luke said, the airport gets a little more hairy, I'll tell you that one. Obviously, when we'd be here filming it, everyone in Montana watches the show, which you would expect, right? And then the first couple of seasons, as long as I was in LA or New York or the bigger cities, I was safe. No one cared. No one watched it, right? Now you can just tell the audience is getting broader and people are realizing its universal themes. So that's all, folks. We hope you enjoyed this post. Oh, and what do you think will happen next to the Dutton family? Drop a comment in the comment section below and let us know your thoughts. Stay tuned for more. 
Thanks for watching.